Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In 1806, the Natchez Municipal Government moved to the blockhouse from Fort Rosalie into the town for the use as a jail. According to some accounts, it appears that much of the fort was dismantled about this time because there are no further references to its use. The remains of the fort, however, were mentioned by many throughout the 19th century. John James Audubon observed that the town gallows were located in the middle of the site and that slaves were being buried in the fort's own moat. Joseph Hall Ingraham described the remaining ruins of the Fort Rosalie, now enameled with a rich coat of vendure. And even as late as the 1890s, Steve Powell noted that the ruins of the old Fort Rosalie still stand. Yet it is apparent that some, indeed perhaps much of the fort, sloughed down the hill. In a newspaper account from June 1840, the Wisconsin Inquirer reported that a landslide some five years earlier had taken out almost half of the eastern bastions of Fort Rosalie and caused devastation to numerous buildings under the hill. Mud, the article, article exclaimed, can be a lawful weapon to draw against what was then Natchez Body District. In 1869, the New Orleans Times noted that a May landslide had occurred below Fort Rosalie, causing a swell in the river and making an alarming noise. And shortly after the new year in 1870, it was reported that January rains had dissolved a few acres of the bluff. Over the past 20 years, various archaeologists have worked tirelessly in determining what exactly remains of the French fort that gave rise to the city of Nets. Hi, my name is Jasmine Ivory. I'll be a senior at Trinity Episcopal School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.